everybody, welcome back. It's day two of my 50 day Bible reading challenge. Obviously, I'm outside. I am taking advantage of how beautiful it is because we're supposed to get snow later this week. And I'm hoping that the lighting is all good. Bear with me if it's not because being out in God's nature is just really the thing that I needed to end today. So we moved on to chapter two of the book of John. And this chapter was full of stories, um, stories that most of us have probably read in other Gospels or at least have heard or talked about while we were growing up. The two stories that are told are the story of Jesus changing water into wine at the wedding at his mother's request and Jesus clearing the temple. The first verse that I found um, somewhat ironic was John 2, 4, um, it says, Dear woman, why do you involve me? Jesus replied, my time has not yet come. We all have mothers that want to involve us in things that we're not quite ready for. My mom has this phrase of voluntold. Um, pretty much it's being volunteered by someone else. You are told that you are going to do this thing. Ironically, even Jesus was told by his mother the things that he was going to do. And instead of coming back to her and saying, I'm God and I know what I'm supposed to be doing, he humors his human mother and he shows her that he loves her and he respects her and he does what she asks. And sometimes it is so hard to do what our parents ask us to do because we don't agree with it or we just aren't feeling it. But if Jesus, who is fully God, can tell his mother, you know, I'll do what you told me to do, then we should take from that example and obey our parents to the highest regard. The second verse that stuck out to me was John chapter 2, verse 23. And this passage says, After he was raised from the dead, his disciples recalled what he had said. Then they believed the scripture and the words that Jesus had spoken. I found this verse interesting because it took the disciples until after they saw Jesus raised from the dead to believe truly what he was saying. I think sometimes it's really hard because we don't see God. We don't see Jesus in this very personal form and yet we have to understand and believe everything he's saying. It took the disciples who lived with him and walked with him and talked with him on a daily basis to believe what he said until after they saw him raised from the dead. I like to look at the disciples and understand they're human and we're human and Jesus fully understands what it is to be human. And that's why there is so much grace and so much love to these imperfect creatures that God has created. As always, I wanna know what you guys thought of this chapter. Please let me know down below what spoke to you and are you on board for tomorrow? I hope that you are because I will be back tomorrow with another short video about what chapter three said to me. Stay beautiful.